Hey y'all, so I'm back again. I know, I keep disappearing. This time for probably about six to eight months. And I'm sorry, I've really kind of been battling with depression, work, and home. That's been my life, uh, especially the past few months. Been works for some great friends, really pushing me through and helping me focus on the positive things that are going on instead of the negative. I'd probably still be in a really bad funk right now, but to talk a little bit more about the positive rather than the negative, I do want to talk more about the depression and, and how to handle that better um, a little bit later in another video because it is something important. I grew up with my mom being bipolar and manic depressive. My grandma was the same way and she would shut all the blinds, lock herself in the bathroom and just not talk to anybody. And that is definitely not how to handle um, those moments of, of the, the valleys in your life, all the, all, the, all the negativity and problems. So, but today I want to talk a little bit about the amazing things that have been happening. So the first one, if you follow any of my other social media, you, you'll know I finally got my first magazine. I'm not on the cover or I have a full page spread or anything like that, but I am down here on the bottom. It's really exciting. My friend Raul designed the dress and my friend Thomas did the photography. And it is just not even half of a page, um, but it is an advertisement in a magazine. And as my friend Shelby put it, you're a model in a magazine doing an advertisement. It's kind of what we try to do. So I'm really excited by that. The start, maybe those other things will happen one day. But something else that kind of came from that is I did get um, called in to do a casting for a lingerie company, an online clothing store. So that was exciting. Um, I was a little nervous, went ahead and told the lady my story just to be safe because I am very out there in social media. So if you Google my name, I kind of pop up everywhere. So does my story. So she said it was not a problem. Um, as long as I can model, she thinks I can model and do just fine. So she told me to come in. So I went into casting. They had me try on stuff and do some test shoots and they liked me. The buyers liked me. So I got offered the spot. So it's a paid job just waiting for them to call me in for the shoot. It's probably going to happen in November due to the other big news. I will be leaving in two weeks to go to Montreal. I'll be with Dr. Broussard in Canada for my gender reassignment surgery. And I couldn't be any more excited. Not really nervous, a little bit nervous, mostly just excited. Everything's squared away. My plane ticket's bought. Going to meet some friends a few days early to see the city and relaxed, kind of have some fun. Because I think once I get to Canada, the nerves are gonna hit me. Um, Going alone without my parents or, you know, friends is, is a little scary. It's a little unnerving. But the staff there, from what I've been told by other girls, is super amazing. They really take care of you. So I know I'm in good hands. Um, that's the really big news. It, it, it's a long, long process to get there. So I started early this year because the wait list is six to eight months to get in. But you, you have to go through your therapist, a second therapist, to get some lab results done and sent in since I can't just pop over to Montreal to have them done there and do this little questionnaire and all that and fill out application. And you have to have the payment submitted before you go. So everything's squared away. All I have to do is go. The last few weeks I've been trying to get everything squared away at home, make sure my cats are taken care of, somebody will be checking on them because they're my babies and my world. So get all that taken care of. I have to buy aftercare products to take care of myself for post-op, um, food and groceries. So all that's here and ready. So it's easy meals because I'll be kind of laid up at home in bed recovering for a while before I go back to work. So super excited. Hopefully the recovery process isn't that long because I'll need to go back to work to try to make more money through the rest of the year because it looks like I'll finally be making my journey to LA at the beginning of the year um, to room with my friend Jessica, who I'm super excited to room with. She's an awesome, awesome girl. She's going around and making changes and doing awesome stuff. So 
I'm ready. I'm excited. So much is going on. I will do more videos because I want to talk more about the surgery, the process to get there, the post-op care, and I will be laid up in bed in Canada afterwards, so I'll have nothing better to do as long as I can get my makeup done first because I'm not going to look like crap on a video. just want to point that out. Hopefully I won't. But anyway, thank you guys. If it weren't for you, I don't know where I would be because the, the encouragement that I get from everybody messaging me and telling me how proud and inspired they are because of me means so much. It keeps me going because there are those those times and periods of depression where you you really struggle with with the importance that you have in life and, and, and what it's all for. So those messages inspire me and encourage me. And to know that I can help make a difference in just one person's life is so, so worth it. So I'm extremely thankful for everything, for all the messages that every one of you sends me. I really do try to read everything and go through it and reply. It's kind of hard sometimes because I spend so much time at work, but I really do appreciate it. And I hope I can continue that because it means so much to make a difference. That's kind of my whole purpose of being so vocal and living my life out loud and in public for everybody to see. So you will hear from more, more from me. Thank you guys so much. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.